Hello, Nikolai Markovich from Echo Lake Technologies, echolaketech.com. In this video, I'm going to show you a couple of ways to organize your workflows. But first, please subscribe to my channel so you get notified of new videos. And also, give me a thumbs up as that lets me know the video is helpful to you. Okay, let's jump into it here. So basically, you can see on this page, I've got a bunch of different workflow steps. And this isn't uh, un uncommon, uh, especially if you have a single page app where you have a lot of different groups. There's going to be a lot of workflow steps and, and so forth. So one of the things I want to show you first is how to use the different colors for the workflows. And basically, one of the things you can do here is I've got some of these workflows that uh, are closing a variety of things. Um, it could be a pop-up, for instance. So the default value event color that you see on here is gray. And for close, I'll just make that red. So another button here to close. I'll change that to, to red and, and so forth. So you can go and, and change those to red or, or whatever color you'd like. And then there's a couple of other buttons here that create a variety of different things. So for those, let's call those or make those green. So then that way you have a, a quick visual cue of which ones of these buttons are going to be closing um, an item and which one of these are going to be creating something. So that's one example where you could use different colors for your, your workflows. Another one here is, I'm going to jump over to the, the design, and I've got this slide bar menu here, and there's a variety of different choices on it. And if we go back to the workflow, you see I have all of these slide bar menu uh, events that are here. So for these, I can go in and similarly change the color from gray to let's just say that these are all blue. So I can quickly go through here and just color code these all to to blue. So that's one thing you can do to kind of quickly show the different uh, workflows that you have going on in your app. So that's one thing to show you. The second thing here is you see this little tab here. I'm going to click on that and you can see these workflow folders and I've already created one on here called replace pages with with groups um, but the the standard is going to be no no folder assigned and I'm just going to jump over here to another one of my pages and you can see here there's no no folder assigned so that's the default now if I come back to my index page I've created this one to replace pages with groups and in here I've got a couple of these workflow steps that I've already uh, put into this this folder and let me just jump to the design here to show you what I did so I have these three different groups here and they represent a page and I'll put a link into uh, to another video that I have to walk through that that uh, design but right now I've got this uh, login page, this user page, and this admin page. And each one of these has buttons, uh, workflows assigned to them. And so what I did here was I have a folder, replace pages with groups. And then in there I have all the different workflow steps. So if I go to no folder assigned, those won't show up here. If I do all workflows, then they, they will show up over here. And let me actually make this a little easier by color coding. I'll just pick a couple of these. Again, changing the colors. We'll call these orange. And I'll just do a few of these. Okay, so now if I go to all workflows, you can see them show up here. If I do no folder assigned, they won't show up and then replace pages with groups and they show up here. And basically to set these up, I'm gonna to go to no folder side and I'm just gonna put one of these slide bar, uh, pick one of these blue ones here. So what you do is you come over, just click on uh, the event and then under workflow folder, replace pages with groups and then bubble will automatically bring you over to that folder and then you can see it over here. And then to put it back, just go to the blank space, 
and then it puts it back with all of the, the rest of them. Now to create one, let's, uh, let's do one for these workflows. So workflow folder, create a new folder. So we'll just call that uh, menu like that. And it's automatically moved it there to the menu folder. So you can now see that you have menu folder. I've got replace pages with groups and then the rest of them. And then now that I've created a menu folder, I can take some of these other menu items and just move it over like that. No folder assigned. And then choose menu again. And just continue to do this. No folder assigned. I'll do one more here, just like that. And move it to menu. And there you have it. So now we have a couple of different folders here. Uh, this one, again, with the, the groups that replace pages. This one for menu, and then all of the rest of them. So this is a quick and easy way to go and set up your uh, folders uh, to put workflows that are relevant to specific activities on your, on your page uh, to help organize your workflows. Hopefully this was, help this was helpful. Again, give me a thumbs up if you like this video, and we'll see you in the next one.